Hey, what's going on, my friends? It's me, it's Ken. We're doing that YouTube stuff, right? It's YouTube stuff. Yeah, we're here at the New York Now Show, and we're in an area called The Bulletin, and uh, we're talking to all the awesome vendors and all the awesome exhibitors, and we're now at Sublima Jewelry. Did I say it right? Yes, I did, right? And Kelly Bitt is the creator of Sublima Jewelry, and she's going to talk to us about a video. Hey, Kelly, what's going on? You look lovely today. Look at this, all this. You're covered, and I say it like that, not to sound bad, but she's covered in the bling. That's yeah, why that's we say it. Now, tell me about this dim sum menu of sure. an exhibit that you have. So let's talk about Sublima. How'd you come up with it? What do you do? Yeah, so the dim sum menu ties into Sublima because I have a lot of food inspiration in my jewelry, especially a lot of Asian food delicacies. So I have a few pieces here that I can show you. A lot of the hoop earrings that I make have food texture inspiration. This is a soup dumpling inspired hoop. This is tofu skin and this is bok choy. And then some of the rings down here, this is actually a bubble tea inspired ring that's adjustable. And the way that I make the jewelry is I carve wax to make the prototypes for the pieces. I have a little video here that shows my process. From the wax prototype, it's then molded and then cast into recycled metals. So I use recycled brass and recycled sterling silver. And a lot of the pieces celebrate many different things. Some of it is around Asian culture, especially food as a way of bringing people together and sharing culture. But then a lot of the inspiration comes from different things like forms or shapes that I was obsessed by at a certain point and that I like to incorporate as wearable art. And I do try to uh, have meaning in the pieces. And so for each person, it's you know different, so, different meaning. Which now, I, I don't think you told me what made you start this. You said yeah. you like food. Obviously, we all do. <clears throat> I've always loved crafting, and I didn't find jewelry making until a little bit later in life. But as a child, I had always made little things, like little objects, sometimes out of cardboard. I used to draw and paint a little bit. And then later on, I found jewelry making and wanted to increase my skills in the craft. So I took a class in wax carving, which is how I make the pieces in the collection now, and also a class in metal smithing, too. And from there, it was really just about building a collection over time and wanting to showcase it to the public and having a portfolio that I could share. So that's so really let's talk about built. some of these pieces too since yeah. we're here. Yeah, so this is a scrunchie inspired cuff. It comes in three different sizes in the recycled brass and sterling silver. I really love how scrunchies on wrists look so aesthetic and the, the form of the ruffles and cinching and the fabric was something I wanted to capture in metal, which I thought would be really, really striking. Did a great job that, Thank too. you. And yeah, a lot of the other pieces, these are more organic, but then some are very structured and kind of architectural. So this cuff is, I call it the Space Age cuff because there's the fashion designer, Pierre Cardin, that had a lot of Space Age designs that kind of reminded me of this design. And then some of the rings down here are much more minimalist, but they're adjustable, and they're really about the negative space in addition to the, the metal pieces that um, are on the finger and can be very striking even though they're minimalist. So you'll see it on my hand here. And then this side of the display has much more uh, minimalist pieces, these little hoop huggies. All have little eye-catching design motifs like a double piercing illusion and little balls that catch the light with this piece. And then one of this piece is called the donut hoop huggy. And it's really eye-catching because of its bulbous shape, even though it's really tiny. So there's a little bit of everything in the collection that you know I like to think speaks to different styles. And then this is one of my newest pieces. It's a, an ear cuff that um, doesn't require a piercing. It's based on the bubble tea inspiration of the this ring. So I repurposed it as an ear cuff, and you can kind of see what it looks like on my ear too. Oh, sorry. <laughs> right here, yeah. Very nice. <laughs> Thank you. Awesome. So this is your first New York Now. It is, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and what do you think so far? I think it's a great way to meet other brand owners and stores. Um, and so it's been a really great experience so far being able to connect with stores and hopefully future clients to be able to have my jewelry in spaces that I can't be. I do a lot of pop-ups in person, but really only in New York. So it's been great to meet people from around the world and from around the country. And then connecting with other exhibitors and brand owners here has been really beneficial. It's one of my favorite things of being able to meet, you know, meet others, other creatives, other entrepreneurs. And a lot of people have been so kind to share tips and learnings, other trade show experiences. So it's been a great time all together. There. That's good. That's good. Well, we're going to let Kelly get back to the business of being in business. She was wonderful to talk to. And just look at this stuff. We're going to have links 
to all of it, my friends. We're going to have links to all of it. So you can buy, spend that wonderful <laughs> cashish. Thank you. So from the Sublima Dim Sum menu, I have three Dim Sum to go. <laughs> it's me, it's Ken. We're doing the Pearson Ken thing. It's for YouTube, so you're going to do me three things. Three favors I ask you to do. It's click subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell, and like and leave a comment on the video. Okay, so four things. Ken's signing out. See you next time. Bye.